What end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. Must be Sather this way. We'll need to find another way around. Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through? The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point.
So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding soon. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing our magic. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they needed a teacher. You know what? We'll finish this later. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The blue one's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Hmm.
land. It's alive again. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. Oh. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Lunda's or Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. <laughs> More Sather markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far. Look what they've done to this place.
What's it say, brother? Over there. Those of the lost say their spirits. Friends of Gunhu. You don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. Are we done? We'll have to find a way through this debris. What's it say, brother? What did you find?
The family crest of Kavasir the Wise. More like Kavasir the Inebriated, in truth. I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' is brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Don't ya? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually. Anyway. Uh. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Did I laugh? That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother.
you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad, I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find, destroyed the room. There was only coldness after that. I tried to make it work, but... No one could have lived like that, Your Majesty. Over there. Reavers, of course. Watch out! It's a soul eater! It doesn't belong here! We must get rid of it!
Hopefully the objects I'm looking for are still here. Anything interesting, brother? I see something. door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open. This is a mystic fire. Its flames are short-lived. So much about that day I wish I could change. If only I'd seen the signs. Thing you learned the runes, brother. ripped apart by the war. That's all the crests. Thank you for finding them. My circlet's here. It's on that pedestal by the balcony! We must remove these creatures first! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! 
a symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too. I can't read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. I thought I'd feel peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you see cannot be found in a circlet. You may be right. <laughs>
I felt that one for the... There. I see the chalice. Anything illuminating? From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd meet. And I believe him. It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. The word is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. Better now? No. The pain only grows. <sighs> Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Are you ready? Yes. There it is. My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. The symbol of our union.
Molna. <laughs> The stone refuses to let go. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. I bond to my son, to the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy, but it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. Learn anything? I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is, and I... I caused you so much pain in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. 
Even if you can't help me with that noxious thing. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty. much for that boat. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Come here. What did you mean when you said Freya was not exactly a guest of the Aesir? I meant by the time they burned him. He'd been a prisoner for some time. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted. They tied him up and lit him aflame, as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. And time to walk. The story will keep. Good thing we didn't miss this.